There they got a bigger 29 and then a 31. 450, 350, and 250. I really like that 20, uh, 29. But I'm definitely more of an outboard guy. That 27 would be my dream Ranger tug. What do you think? All right, guys, walking the docks at the 2024 Stewart Trawler Fest, and a lot of fun. My favorite boats by far were the Ranger Tug lineup. They had their 27 model, their 29, and their 31. They also had a 32, I believe it was, Cutwater, which they built as well. These boats range from $250,000 all the way up to a half a million dollars, but they're beautiful little pocket-sized yachts and a lot of comfort on them. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to roll these boats out over four videos, so watch the whole series. And also, there was a really cool Leopard 40-foot uh, Power Cat. That video should already be posted, so thanks for watching. All right, let's check out this 27 Ranger Tug, brand new at Trawler Fest in Stewart, Florida. This is the 27. They're at current asking price, around 258 these are really cool with little pocket trawlers. There they got a bigger 29 and then a 31. 450, 350, and 250. I really like that 20, uh, 29. Command bridge on top. But back here to the 27. Nice little seat. Got the windlass box the sunlight's going in to the helm station keep it nice and bright inside it's tight very tight maybe a four inch gunnel walking around but I'll leave that there. Transom seating. I do believe it's a 250 on the back. Nice big window. This opens. Give you air. What do you think? It's only 27 feet. Really nice upholstery in here. It's um, really clean, brand new. Smell the gel coat still kicking off. Very nice. Nice colors. There we go. Two two seventy five as is the luxury edition AC blasting in here nice and cold it's nice though it's got a nice what's that I mean it's a galley it's nice it's got the mini fridges yeah nice, nice big galley I mean for 27 feet we got a nice space out here the table drops down you can sleep right here that window opens up does that mean gas yeah it's propane little oven wow down below. Uh, did you see the microwave? No. Microwave? Oh yeah, a little microwave. Tucked below. We got a little Keurig. TV. Plenty of space here for two. Got nice lighting underneath the headliner. I could rough it in this. Me too. Nice sunlight. Sun uh, hatch, letting in some sunlight. Oh wow! Is that what it's called, a pedestal sink? Oh, wow. I'm not sure. No, that's not a pedestal <laughs> sink. Okay. One of those. So we've got a wet head, shower curtain. It's a pretty big head for a 27 foot boat. They definitely pack a lot in here. You could remove these middle cushions and have just a couch. Very 
Well, it's a pocket yacht, so it's a yacht in a pocket size. So everything you need, nothing you don't. That's your water tank for your fresh water. That's uh, probably going to be your radio, maybe. Yeah. I see myself cruising around in this. Pretty good visibility. It's all right in front of you. This is manageable. This is something I would like to have. Better than a big 50 footer. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Sorry, I thought it was 250. 300 horsepower. Perfect size boat. Not too big, not too small. Yeah. Whatever happened to those tournaments they used to have in June? At the uh, Boca, the uh, Tarpon? Uh, Tarpon Center. They... All right, let me know what you prefer. I mean, with boats, a lot of times bigger is better. So the 31 footers, 450,000. It's 200 grand more than the 27. But do you like the outboard setup? Or do you like the little diesel? And uh, what do you think about Checkered Pass, their Cutwater series? Pretty similar, really, to the Ranger um, with a lot of the finishes. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. It's a little over four million. And here's the Cutwater and the Ranger series. They got the 27, the 29, and the 31, and the Cutwater, which they also designed. All right, let's. Uh, Let's go check out one more.